It feels like just a year ago, I was making a video about account abstraction, and that's because I was. Yet here we are again today talking about a new Ethereum improvement proposal that was just created, proposing to add native account abstraction to Ethereum. EIP 7560 proposes a new way of implementing account abstraction that is different from what we saw in 4337, which was account abstraction via alt mempool. In this video, we'll review what the proposal is and how it works at a technical level, how it differs from the 4337 variation of account abstraction, and what it means to have account abstraction built in natively to Ethereum. By the way, if you have no idea what account abstraction is, I would suggest that you check out this video on my channel to give a 10 minute explainer, but essentially it means you can use smart contracts as your wallet or your account over what is called an EOA or an externally owned account. So if you've ever used a wallet like MetaMask or Coinbase wallet, for example, you're using what's called an EOA, which has essentially two capabilities. One is signing transactions and the second one is signing messages. It's a very all or nothing approach controlled by a single private key. Whereas smart contract accounts, you can have any logic built in with code essentially. So everything that you can write in code is a capability of a smart contract. And the main benefits to this are things like social recovery, having the ability to have multiple signers on a account or change the signer on an account anything that you can imagine in code is a massive benefit to what account abstraction enables. In the past, there was numerous attempts at creating an Ethereum improvement proposal for account abstraction, such as EIP 86, EIP 2938, EIP 3074, but eventually the community created what was EIP 4337, account abstraction via alt mempool, which was actually implemented into Ethereum earlier this year. The reason the community ended up using 4337 over the previous proposals was because 4337 didn't require a consensus level change, which was kind of easy for the community to agree upon since it wasn't going to impact any of the existing features or design choices that Ethereum has made. Yesterday, I stumbled upon this thread from John Rising, who is the co-founder of one of these infrastructure provider companies for account abstraction called StackUp. And essentially it points out a lot of the flaws in the current implementation of account abstraction, pointing out things like how most of the activity is going to kind of three uh, providers or companies essentially running this infrastructure, the retention or the usage in an extended period of time of the accounts that get created are very low. The profitability of the bundlers actually running this infrastructure is again very low and essentially just dunking on the current implementation of 4337. And while I think John is making very valid points, I tend to agree with Jesse's response here in that it is still very early and that the application layer building on top of this 4337 account abstraction isn't really there yet. We haven't seen a mainstream adopted kind of a wallet like MetaMask implementing account abstraction in this way. And we're seeing kind of experiments, I would say at the application level where apps or games are creating these smart contract wallets to provide gasless transactions, which would typically mean the retention is dependent if the user comes back and actually uses the app that created that smart contract for them. Anyway, two days later, the 7560 proposal comes out from John's Twitter account saying here is a yet again another account abstraction proposal. This time we're going to run it natively in Ethereum. And I responded with this kind of meme that I thought was a bit of a banger, but we're sitting on six likes. So help me out, go like this meme, boost my ego. Anyway, the proposal which has kind of come full circle is we've made, hey, here's an account abstraction proposal that impacts the consensus layer. The community says, no, we don't want that. Implements 4337 and 11 months or 10 months later, we now have yet again, another account abstraction proposal that is at the consensus layer. So this brings us to the actual contents of the proposal. And the description here is an account abstraction proposal that introduces consensus layer protocol changes instead of relying on higher layer infrastructure, AKA what was implemented in 4337. So the details of this proposal are essentially rather than utilizing smart contracts or code to create this full separate flow from the traditional transaction flow, which was what the alt mempool created in 4337, this proposal says EOAs, externally owned accounts, should actually be able to submit 
a new transaction type called AATX type or account abstraction transaction type. And this specific kind of transaction will have specific fields that enable the kind of most popular use cases that account abstraction enables, like the ability to have someone else pay for the gas fees of a transaction and have a time range where a transaction is valid, that EOAs are actually able to send that go through all of the traditional workflows that a normal transaction would go through. And the kind of one sentence summary that I really enjoyed in this proposal was this. It says, while it may seem like allowing EOAs to initiate AATX type transactions contradicts the purpose of account abstraction, which as we kind of mentioned earlier, typically account abstraction, at least in my mental model, means utilizing smart contracts as the account over EOAs. It says, we argue that this may actually be important for the adoption of smart contract accounts. It will enable all existing EOAs to benefit from the improved UX features like gas abstraction and validity ranges. It then goes on to say, this is kind of a stepping stone between the current state that Ethereum is with EOAs as kind of the de facto standard for accounts and the kind of end goal, which is where we want everyone ideally to be using these smart contract accounts. It's kind of a stepping stone or a middle point between those two uh, stages in time. So the final part of this section is it says, in the future, this can be used to pay gas for transactions that add code to the EOA addresses. So the way that I interpret this is essentially this proposal is kind of the foundation for a few other proposals to come in and build on top of it that would allow code to actually be used in the accounts that people are using today. So this is kind of saying, well, we want people to use accounts that have code built into them, but there's no way of actually upgrading or migrating from an EOA to a smart contract wallet. This almost requires a new starting point for a lot of people that you know is going to require some background knowledge. Let's lay the foundation for a couple of other proposals to come in, have EOAs be able to submit these new transaction types. And then these other proposals later in time can say, well, let's actually add code capabilities or add new feature capabilities to EOAs themselves and kind of transform them into this native account abstraction where the accounts themselves have the ability to run any arbitrary logic in the form of code. Now, my opinion on this proposal is that it doesn't really solve the problem that account abstraction is trying to solve. To me, it reads like, yes, you can sponsor the gas fees of a transaction on behalf of someone else. That's really, at least from my interpretation, all that this proposal enables. And it kind of depends on later proposals being implemented in order to actually be that useful. What I felt with 4337 account abstraction was that there was a big upgrade from, okay, EOAs can essentially do one thing or two things, and that's sign transactions and sign messages. You have a private key. If you lose it, you're basically screwed. You cannot recover this. You've lost your funds. You're never going to be able to access that account safely again. And account abstraction to me with the kind of features that were proposed and why this proposal would go through with social recovery, with things like we talked about in 7212, using kind of mass adopted hardware to generate private key, public key pairs and have those uh, different kind of signature verification methods used in smart contract accounts. I don't see the same value in this proposal that I do see in the 4337 account abstraction. With that said, I do see the kind of vision of laying out the foundation within this proposal to say, yes, we need EOAs to have some kind of upgrade ability to be smart contract wallets that can run this code. But I think this heavily depends on future proposals also being implemented that make those upgrades to the EOAs themselves. I'm curious to hear your thoughts about what you think the future of account abstraction looks like in the Ethereum world. If you have any thoughts, questions, leave them in the comments below. If you like the video, please remember to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Helps me out, reach more awesome people like you in the algorithm. With that said, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.